Welcome to day 15 of the AKT 30 day challenge. Halfway through now and halfway to go. So let's keep the hard work going. As ever, let's start with the question. Okay, so this is a multiple best answer. So you need to get both correct to get the one mark. If you get one right and one wrong, you get no marks at all in the AKT. So the correct answers are A and C. Seasonal flu vaccine in winter. That's given to women in any trimester of pregnancy, if it's the season. And then C, the pertussis vaccine against whooping cough. So pertussis vaccine is usually given any time from 16 weeks onwards all the way up to 32 weeks. Sometimes it's actually uh, combined with the 20 week scan given around that time. But any time after 16 weeks, it can be given and ideally by 32 weeks. Now, if they miss that window, you can actually give it all the way up to the point of delivery. And then even though the mother will have had pertussis vaccine during the pregnancy, the baby will still get this as part of the normal childhood immunization schedule. A couple of other things to note based on recent RCGP examiners reports. Let's have a look at this. It's worth noting that the Royal College examiners have said that they're not going to ask questions testing simple recall of the childhood schedule. What they will test, because immunisation is such an important topic, is things like, you know, which are the live vaccines that might not be safe for someone who's got immunocompromised to take. Um, things like, um, what's the recommendation for vaccination for someone who has had their spleen removed? Um, and so, you know, it's important to still revise vaccination as a topic. You just don't need to learn the childhood schedule, uh, the specific dates off by heart. Coming up to the last two weekends before the AKT exam now, just to recap things that you should be focusing on at this stage. Recap your key stats, recap your key admin topics, recap the key high yield clinical topics mentioned by examiners in recent examiners reports. By this stage, you will have already done the bulk of your revision. So fill in any gaps, do some time mocks, keep pushing, keep going, and you're going to pass your exam with flying colors. Hope you found this helpful. Please join me tomorrow for the next high yield topic.